Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am reviewing the new Tangle Teaser. This is the one with the brush. This is something I was really excited about because I loved the old Tangle Teaser and I was like, it would be bomb if it just came with a handle and like this, they delivered. So I've actually tried it a few times. I am going to be sharing with you guys my honest opinion. Um, because I am going to actually put a deep conditioner in my hair so this will be like a talk through and share with you guys what I think of the new Tangle Teaser. Um, just a disclaimer, I was not sent this. Your girl did not get on the PR list for Tangle Teaser because I know they recently did a campaign. So this is going to be my honest review. Um, and you guys know I'm obsessed with the Flexi Brush from Curl Keeper. So at the end of the video, I'm going to compare it to that one because that right now is my favorite detangler brush and the only thing I used to detangle my hair. So if you guys are curious and want to see my honest review, go ahead and stay tuned. So first I want to share that we still are currently trying to decide a subscriber name, like a subscriber squad name. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comment box down below. The two that most people seem to like is one is Curl Lex Nation or two is uh, Lex Factors. So if you guys really like any of those, let me know. But if you have any other suggestions, we are trying to figure it out. So yeah. Okay, so I am going to be prepping my hair for straightening it. That's why I'm going to do a intensive deep condition. Uh, just so you guys know, the deep conditioner I'm using is from Aveda. This is the Damage Remedy intensive restructuring treatment. Um, it says it strengthens hair and repairs, um, and it deep, deeply repairs. This is what it looks like. I'm going to section my hair off because with my flexi brush, I can take really big sections and detangle them pretty easily. So I'm taking, I'm going to probably, this is going to be like the section I'm going to start working on. So I'm going to apply my deep conditioner. Now the Tangle Teaser, comes in that pink color and then also in black. And here in the United States, it cost me $14 before tax and I got it at Ulta, like in the store at Ulta. So if you guys are curious how much it costs, it's a little bit, it's not like a cheap comb or something. It's, it's a little bit, a little bit um, more expensive than just your normal detangling comb that you can get like at the drugstore. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but the bristles on here, like it's a little used, like I said, I've used it a few, there's hair in here, but um, there are different size bristles in here and they are um, pretty flexible. Like they're not stiff at all. And the tips of the teeth on here are rounded, so it's not going to damage or scrape up your scalp, which I really like. And it is like really lightweight, which is also what I like. And because there's like this little like lip here at the bottom, it helps from your hand from slipping all the way off so much. It gives you a little bit more of a grip, which I do like that. So I am just going to start at the ends like I normally do. This is how I normally work with, um, when I'm detangling and then I just go ahead and move a little bit upwards. So I haven't detangled my hair prior to this. This is just me washing my hair and then um, washing my hair and then applying the deep conditioner. I haven't detangled it yet. So as you can see, it is working through the knots pretty well. And this is a big section of hair. But my hair, I will say my hair isn't too, too matted or anything. It's not too tangled up to begin with, but now one thing that you guys can't see, I don't think, but I can feel is when, and this is the same thing with the flexi brush. When I get through knots that are really bad, it kind of like grazes over them. It doesn't immediately try to like detangle them. I don't know if you like, if you try to use a comb, like you can't get through, if you use a comb, you can't get through a knot if you have a knot where this you can. And if you guys can tell this section is pretty much done all the way from my roots, all the way to the ends are all, all detangled. And I would have to say this probably also does a decent job at defining your curls if you want to use it for um, 
styling, but I still prefer my Denman brush. But this for detangling, as you can see, it is gliding. It's pretty much gliding through. So at the tops of my hair is where it's a little bit more tangled. And that is because I do have color that I'm growing out and the hair down there is a little bit more, um, I don't know, like it gets more tangled compared to the rest of my hair. So this is where it's going to be really to see if it can get through that because that's color damage. So we all know that that is not forgiving at all. Okay, so the majority of my tangling occurs at the bottoms of my hair. That's where the color is. And I want to show you guys an up close of how this detangles through the hair. You can actually see the bristles moving through the knots versus going like through them. Like you can tell that they kind of like go around the knot until it's able to completely get through all of the knots, which I really like that. It's not like ripping through my hair really like working through the knots and this is why I prefer a brush versus a comb to detangle my hair I have been using a comb for a really long time to detangle my hair and I have not I have not at all gone back to a comb and as you guys can hear it's not as loud as the old tangle teasers were. This one's a lot quieter. Now just uh, when I was reading the box that it was in it says to only use this like for wet hair so it doesn't recommend to use it for dry hair but I have found that I've been able to use it on dry hair and it's fine. Um, but it also says not to use it with heat so if you were planning on using this while you're straightening your hair or something it recommends that you do not do that. You only use it for like Probably just like detangling and your regular like wash and goes and stuff, your everyday hairstyles, not straightening. So, see this is where it gets a little bit harder for me because this is really where all the color damages. You can tell, tell where the color is. So, I'm just trying to share with you guys. You can see how the, the like bristles really move. They don't, if they can't get through it, it works kind of around it and then and then it goes through it so you actually probably will get less less shedding here because of that so you're not gonna lose as much hair ultimately though finger detangling if you're worried about hair loss finger detangling is probably your absolute best option Now with me having longer hair detangling probably is the most damaging thing that I do to my hair because I do not use heat. I don't diffuse my curls. I always air dry them. I really only strain my hair about once or twice a year. So, um, so detangling is where I get the most damage. So we are all smooth and done. I'm going to finish this next side and I'm going to come back to you guys, share with you a little bit more and then we are going to compare it to my favorite detangling brush, the Flexi brush from Curl Keeper. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have detangled all of my hair and now it is time to give you guys like my overview, full honest opinion. Here, I'm going to share with you guys how much hair is in here. Um, I haven't washed my hair in a few days, so this is how much shed hair I have. In my opinion, this is not a lot of shed hair at all. This is what my brush looks like after I have actually used it. So, um, yeah, I don't think that it took out a lot of hair, which is really good. So it's pretty gentle. So I am going to compare it to my Flexi brush, which I don't have at the moment because I shared with you guys. Um, it recently broke, and I knew I was going to do this video, so I wanted to share like my opinion and if the tangle teaser worked really well then I wouldn't need to buy another flexi brush so okay so comparing the two I'm gonna put up two pictures now the flexi brush in size is actually bigger than the tangle teaser 
like the actual brush. So with the flexi brush, I noticed the teeth are further apart. So to be honest, the detangling with the flexi brush is very small. It's a very small amount, but it is a little bit easier to detangle with the flexi brush because the teeth are so far apart. But with the Tingle Teaser being so much smaller in size and also a lot lighter, it is a little bit easier to kind of maneuver it through my hair, which is really good. Because I can find that the Flexi Brush, when it gets wet, it kind of like gets heavy, where this is really hollow, so it's really light. Also, I really like that with the Tingle Teaser, there is no like back to it that's like has the aerodynamic back to it, just because honestly, the hair would get so stuck in the flexi brush with the like the holes in it. So it was kind of hard for me to get the hair out where the tangle teaser is really easy to clean comparing the two. Teeth wise, the teeth size is very similar. So I really wouldn't say you are like sacrificing that. Both of them have the rounded tips at the top so that you're not going to scratch your scalp or anything. It's really gentle for your hair. But I felt like both of them detangle really well. I actually am really impressed. Price wise is only a couple dollars difference. The Tangle Teaser is a little bit more like readily available. You can go to Ulta to go get it where the Flexi Brush to my knowledge is only available online. They do have a knockoff of the Flexi Brush at Sally's but I haven't tried it. And in my opinion, size wise, it's not really much of a um, dupe. Uh, Cause I've seen it in person and I don't think it's much of a dupe. Yeah, so I am just honestly, since the, some, the changes to me are kind of really minuscule, I am honestly just going to continue to use the Tangle Teaser because I have it and I didn't find that the differences were too much of a difference. So um, I think really it's going to come down to your personal preference and your routine, but I would honestly recommend both but if you are curious about grabbing the Tangle Teaser, I would say grab it. I think it's worth it. I honestly, I need to say, I've had my Flexi Brush for a really, 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 really long time. So for it to break really was kind of like impressive that it even lasted so long with detangling. Like that's a heavy job for a tool. So I was grateful for it. But yeah, that is pretty much my honest review on the Tangle Teaser. If you guys have any more questions, be sure to leave them down below. Um, in case I forgot anything, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.